guys welcome to my channel this is Zubair Altaf Qureshi and in this lesson we'll be talking about the F5 LTM module and the feature that we'll be discussing is called the SSL offloading or you can say SSL termination or you can also say full proxy right? we'll be using the F5 as a full bone proxy and what it does and how it works and how it is implemented will be I mean um, going through about that in this video so to start off with let me grab my notepad and tell you something about the concept of SSL termination so right now what we are doing is we have our F5 and then we have our client here client PC and we are having three servers at the back end right so one two three so let me number them so we have server number one okay so undo and I will go to my server number one server number two server number three so I have three servers so as of now what is happening is my uh, client PC that is on the internet is forming a session with the it's not I mean it's an HTTP AT connection that is clear text and that is not secure obviously but that is not the case I mean backend also is the same thing but that is not the case in the real time right so in the real time you would have a HTTPS connection going to th uh, going through to your servers right so this F5 uh, sitting sitting here can see nothing because everything is encrypted so you cannot see anything because this is encrypted because this is HTTPS right working on 443 so this is purely an SSL tunnel and this is encrypted and you cannot see anything so you cannot see the uh, cookie so when you want to use the persistence based on cookie and you have something encrypted you will not be able to see beneath I mean beneath the uh, application layer right so you need to have the visibility for an application layer to do uh, until the application layer to do the persistence based on your cookie okay so that is one reason why you would do the uh, SSL offloading and also if you're using the ASM module ASM module so you will be doing some filtering based on your application layer right um, whether it be URL filtering or whether it be your malware anti malware and all those stuff so you need to have the uh, application layer visibility in that case you will be going for the SSL termination and you might have one session going between this and this and then another session between uh, I mean you will be having this too and and this can be your HTTPS obviously and this can be your HTTP only no need to have HTTPS on both sides but the point is that while this is this has been I mean uh, decrypted here your F5 for a fraction of second will have visibility to the application layer and at that point it can do all the necessary stuff right so that is the reason why we have the SSL encryption and all those stuff uh, so yeah so advantages of the F5 uh, I mean F5 SSL termination is obviously the offloading processing from your web server so all the processing will be done on your F5 and not the web servers individually right and encryption and depression are done in the big IP hardware okay so that is a big catch and then oh that is the big point, big point requires only one certificate to be installed on the big IP wireless you, if you didn't have this model then you had to install one uh, certificate per web server so that would be again that is again a big cost saving right so those were the advantages and the requirements like right? client as I said the use cases right client 
to stay connected to the same server in the pool. This is the persistence we have and setting a persistence, persistence using HTTP cookie. So the uh, IP affinity uh, will not be having any issues but the uh, persistence based on your HTTP cookie will be facing issues if this is not uh, implemented. So problems would be your HTTP cookie resides inside the application and data which is encrypted in the HTTPS and SSL session right so that's what I told you and the solution is to implement SSL termination and then enable persistence using HTTP cookie yeah and then the steps of implementation is certificate obviously the first thing you need is a certificate uh, and if you're doing this for development or web purpose so your self-signed certificate by the F5 will be enough and you need to import that certificate to your client and install it on the client second is if you're doing this for production use obviously then you have to go for a public certificate from a trusted certificate authority such as VeriSign right and then the keys you need a private key and a public key it's like the asymmetric keys um, the private will be responsible for decryption public will be shared between both the sides and it will be responsible for your encryption other steps would be SSL client profile, creating the profile on the GUI and then associating the same profile to the virtual server uh, object, right? Yeah, so let's see this uh, in action in our GUI. Okay, guys, so in order to do the testing on the um, F5, a big IP F5, so we have to go to this lab. Um, and what I'll do is I will. Uh, first of all test the uh, HTTP that we have HTTP uh, virtual server that we have mm, let's test that first HTTP colon uh, m192.160 no 192.1.100.150 uh, and if that is working fine yeah that is working and the okay the load balancing is happening okay this will be uh, round robin fine so as you can see this is not a secure connection right this is not encrypted so anybody sniffing on this network can just see the packets and check the uh, data inside it right so that is what we don't want so that's why we'll set up a um, uh, SSL um, uh, this termination on the big IP FI for that what you need to do is you need to go to the FI GUI obviously and then log in one two three and first thing first what you need to do is uh, I will clear the statistics that I have on my whole, whole right statistics here and then then yeah this one I'll reset this and if you can see that I have one pool HTTP pool uh, that is listening on port 80 so I'll be using the same pool but I'll create a new uh, virtual server for this uh, I mean you have to create okay you go here and then you create one uh, which is working for HTTPS so let's name this as virtual virtual sorry virtual HTTPS right so that is what we will name and the IP address uh, will be uh, let's go with 160 and the port if you know the port 443 even in enter here or else you can just specify HTTPS and the port will automatically pop up uh, that much you know and yeah we have to select the uh, default pool that is the HTTP pool that we will be using click finish on this and the next uh, step would be your uh, what you say the okay the uh, certificate right so we, we have to go to the file management and SSL certificate list here yeah. so you have to create a new certificate here uh, say uh, F5 cert right F5 cert yeah and the common name so this should be a domain name and this is a self certificate because I'm using this for uh, say a lab purpose but if it's for the production obviously you need a certificate authority like the very sign and all so you need to import that but here I will just specify the com common name as the IP address of my virtual server and some uh, details about the organization and all those stuff right and then I'll cl click finish after you uh, create the certificate the self-signed certificate on the F5 you need to create a profile for this 
So for that you need to go to the local traffic manager and go to the profiles and go to SSL and then the client profile. So here you will create client profile. You can see you have a client SSL profile, but we'll create a new one which will inherit the settings from the parent profile, this uh, client SSL, but we'll change certain things. So let's create uh, client SSL, this one, uh, and you need to click here and then you need to specify the certificate that you created just now that's it and then click on finish okay now that you have created the profile now you have to link this profile with your um, virtual server right so let's wait for this uh, configuration to be done some errors okay profile requires a key okay sorry key is f5 right and okay paraphrase say let's use this score one two three here right and then let's finish okay let's wait for this now hopefully this will be uh, okay this is again saying why why do we need this I don't think we need this and okay oh, oh I have to add this sorry so I'll uh, replace okay replace delete and add so I have this without the keychain sorry this is the new version so that's why things have changed uh, and now this is done now you have to go to the uh, virtual uh, uh, this uh, server and call this profile right in the SSL so this is your client profile right this one you have to select this this is the one we created client SSL select to this side and update that's it now you can go and test you can go to your machine on the outside HTTPS to 1.100.160 so this is going to be your see now it will uh, obviously uh, tell you that this is not uh, I mean connection is untrusted because the, it's it's a self side service so you just uh, hit an add exception con uh, and confirm the security exception and then provide with the username and password of the server right so that's how you do the SSL encryption right so you can see that this HTTPS if you go and check for more information so you'll find the certificate that F5 has provided you so uh, generally what you need to do is you need to import that certificate in this machine then you will not get this um, like the error sign right okay so that is this and one more thing we need to do is we need to check the cookie persistence is working or not okay for that what, you, what I need to do is I need to um, go to the uh, cookie persistence enable this and before that I have to enable the profile here HTTP profile here and then resources HTTP profile and update oh uh, no not that one persistence cookie right and then cookie and then update and then I have to go to my uh, holes here and check the statistics and this is one with the round robin and I'll go and reset this now if you go to your machine here and now if you go to the HTTPS same one 1.100.160 right it should be I mean persistent to the same server but it is not working I see it's not working let's see why it's not working I think uh, did I update the uh, virtual server I need to go to my virtual server this is my HTTPS and I can see okay the client profile is not updated update and update here first so that is the reason so you need the client HTTP profile there right and after that uh, do I have no so I need the cookie update I don't know what I was doing anyways happen sometime and I was in a rush so that's why I need to go to statistics and I need to clear the statistics again so that we can see the persistence working with HTTPS so now if I go here and then I I mean launch the same IP 1.100.160 this time this should stay connected on my server 2 right so this is how you create the uh, I mean implement the SSL offloading and if you just refresh this you will see that only server 2 was responding to that 
uh, request from the client outside yeah guys so this is how it is and this is it for this videos video guys and please don't uh, uh, I mean forget to subscribe to my channel like my videos and share as mu as much as possible guys guys I'll be uh, I mean uh, uploading more videos on F5 and once I finish F5 I'll be um, uh, switching to the next gen firewall so yeah stay connected bye bye guys thank you